Perhaps one of the most popular questions that I get is, how do I play over chord progressions? And that's not exactly a precise question. I think it's pretty open-ended and can be addressed in a lot of ways. So my answer may be different from another guitar instructor or guitar player's answer, but I think generally uh, my answer is also informed by a lot of knowledge learned from school and playing live music and playing in bands, watching other YouTube instructors, and my own opinion. So take that for what it's worth. I'm going to give you an overarching view on what I think is the most important way to approach soloing over a chord progression. Uh, but again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Some people do it completely the opposite than others, and both can be perfectly acceptable approaches. So keep that in mind. I'm going to give you an example here. Let's say we have a chord progression. D minor to G, and then how about uh, C, and then like an F, uh, and then B flat, and then G minor, and then how about this, E7, E diminished 7. So over that, it's in the key of D minor, right? So most people will default if you're learning, just learning out how to improvise. Most people, when they hear D minor, they're like, oh, okay. D minor pentatonic, right? Uh, that's an okay place to start, but I interpret the question, how do I solo over chord changes? Meaning, how do I break out of that scale box? How do I get out of that tendency to just go you know, maybe outline the chords or just generally be more melodic and not as robotic and scalar sounding. Well, I have a couple different answers for you, but they all depend on the understanding of one thing. Can you guess what it is? Those of you who have been watching my videos for some time may know what's coming, but the answer is triads. Triads are the ultimate way to make a chord progression sound less chord progression-y and more fluid sounding. And they also happen to be a great way to learn to improvise and outline chords. And that's not to say you play triads in place of you know, the chords every single time, but you use triads as targets to find different chord tones and spots on the neck to get you out of this box shape that we're trying to avoid. And that's not to say we should avoid that completely. It's, there's a reason everybody plays it so much is because it sounds awesome. But if you want to depart from that, from time to time and become a little bit more melodic and uh, take advantage of more of the neck, then triads are an excellent way to move about the neck in a pretty natural, organic way. So taking this chord progression again, we have triads right here. And we can move up to our favorite position. And we can also move down here and maybe down here. So I have the same notes accessible to me using triads and as a result, I can either implement a chord in place of this or I can implement a chord tone. And that is accessible to me as well. So this D minor chord can be accessed by triads. And you can do this for any one of those chords. So we move on to the G chord. And we move on to the C chord. Uh, these are all just triadic shapes that I'm playing, but in the context of an improvisation, I would pick and choose. So maybe I comp a little bit with this D minor chord to get used to it. Now here's the G. So those are just moving between two chords. So you can understand how deep you could go when you have like nine chords in a row, which I'll show you at the end of this video. But there's a delicate 
balance between having your comped chords, you know, triads, and taking a single individual notes. And then coming down naturally. And then we're moving to the C. And then what was the next one here? F. After you build up your rhythmic chops, you can target these chord tones to create a cool solo and then blend them together. So let me give you an example of exactly what I'm talking about, blending the rhythm elements and the double stops, you know, playing multiple notes at once with individual soloing that takes advantage of the different modes of the major scale. So if this was over your head in any way, uh, as far as the triad shapes or the different modes of the major scale, my course, Guitar Super System, is linked in the description. Uh, it is everything you need to know regarding that stuff, and it's outlined in a way that you can understand. This is a YouTube video, so it's moving a little bit quick, uh, but I really break everything down regarding triads and modal approaches, all the different modes of the major scale and how to apply them to your guitar playing in a natural way, not just ripping through them in any key a million notes per second. Um, so if you're interested in that, in that, then just click down below to sign up for Guitar Super System. I would appreciate it. I hope this was helpful for you guys uh, asking how to solo over chords. This is a little glimpse into how I approach it. So I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.